Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That's So Po, and I am here with day seven of the Quanta Reflectathon, which is the last day of the Quanta Reflectathon. If you're not familiar with it, I'll link all the info below. It's run by Njeri at Onyx Pages. And today, the last day has the principle of Imani, or faith. And so the prompt for today is to talk about a book that strengthened your faith. First is Hurricane Child by Kaysen Callender. This is a really, really sweet middle grade book about a little girl in the Caribbean who doesn't get along with anybody at school. She's very stubborn, very difficult, very intelligent. She also doesn't get along with her dad. Her mom uh, left and is missing and she wants so badly to find her. And she's also dealing with being queer and kind of getting bullied for that. What I really loved and what I found strengthened my faith was how strong this little girl was despite everything. She knew who she was. She never doubted who she was. She never felt like she was somebody else. And she stayed strong throughout the whole thing. No matter what was going on, she knew what she was going to do. She knew who she was going to be and she was unwilling to compromise. And that's wonderful. I just love that. I love, love, love books about little girls who are so stubborn and so wonderful. And that just strengthens my faith that we can have more stubborn little girls. I want more of them all over the world because um, that's, that's kind of what I like. And I think it's a wonderful thing. Next is You Can't Touch My Hair by Phoebe Robinson. So this is sort of um, a collection of comedic essays. Phoebe Robinson is a stand-up comedian and an actress, and I listened to this on audiobook. Absolutely recommend the audiobook. Um, but what I found that this strengthened my faith on was our ability to really understand other people better. So Phoebe Robinson does a lot in these essays of talking about her experiences as a black woman, as just a, a woman in kind of the entertainment business, talking about what she has gone through. And also really, I think, elucidating a lot of those experiences for people who maybe come from different backgrounds. I found her so relatable and I found so much of what she was saying insightful and and enlightening for me so for example just her talking especially about microaggressions um was something that made me understand what a lot of people go through so much better um i don't think that i face a ton of microaggressions that i notice maybe they're there and i just totally blithely ignore them um but Phoebe Robinson in this book really shows so many of the microaggressions that she has to deal with on a constant basis. And that made me realize like really how much patience and fortitude um, so many people have to deal with that like I just don't, I'm not required to put forth that kind of effort on a daily basis. And that built a lot of empathy for me. So this book really strengthened my faith that through reading, especially through reading various perspectives, we can become more empathetic, better people who understand those around us. And lastly, I'd like to talk about Between the World and Me by ta Coates. This is a memoir that ta Coates wrote, directed at his teenage son, and really talks about um, Coates' experience growing up black in sort of an inner city and then later moving into a much more um, international sphere where he has become involved in politics and has um, really had a big influence on the world. I think that this book for me just really strengthen my faith that people are out there fighting the good fight. Um, Ta-Nehisi Coates is so brilliant. His writing is just absolutely gorgeous. And this book just showed him really talking about how, you know, he wants to create a better world for his son and wants to make himself better, wants to just improve a lot of the things that are broken, especially in the US when it comes to the situation for people of all sorts of different races. Um, and just, it's like when I read something like that, I have faith that there are people who are smart, who are hardworking, who are passionate, who can do things to make the world a better place. 
So those are the books that I read this year that just very much built faith for me. Um, I'm not a religious person, so for me that faith is all kind of in humanity. Uh, if anybody else has any books that they thought really strengthened their faith in something, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And thank you everyone who has watched my Kwanzaa Reflectathon videos. Today is the last day of it. I hope that if you made any videos for this, um, you leave me in the comments below so I can go check them out and that you check out anybody else who has made Kwanzaa Reflectathon videos. It's an excellent project. The prompts are so interesting. Um, and even if you didn't participate, maybe take some time. It's January 1st. Take some time to reflect on 2019. Think about some of these ideas of community and creativity and unity um, and purpose and see how that relates to your reading or to your life and maybe think about what you wanna read this year that might um, be related to these ideas and open your worldview. So thank you everybody and thank you especially Injiri for putting together this Reflectathon.